Good morning. Can you see the car? Uh, morning, morning, everybody. Um, Shall I say a few words? Well, obviously, we're here at Orchester Sailing Club. Um, a bit of a grey day in the background there, um, but uh, uh, the, our backdrop is uh, 11th century car. So when we are out sailing, we look back at not only historically um, at all the events that have happened here, but today we're going to be looking at uh, which is spread around all over the country uh, here at Port of Watson Boats. So, uh, um, this is actually sponsored by the, uh, uh, and they're very generously giving us some huge prizes, including the top prize of a £100 voucher. Um, and uh, North Sales are sponsoring us. Um, overall, it's been a massive effort. Thank you, um, Bell Racer, uh, particularly Simon Lovesy, John Emmett, actually, um, who help put it all together for us. So it, it's been a massive learning curve, but uh, an interesting experience. And we're really fortunate that uh, with all the technology working now, uh, we should have a very interesting day indeed. Um, so interestingly, of uh, 103 competitors entered from, I believe it's 24 clubs overall, and 25 clubs, apologies, um, with, uh, some of the clubs really fielding some some good numbers. I think this have uh, fielded something like 16. Uh, we're with third place, I think. Uh, but there's, there's this from Boston, big boat out today. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, so, can uh, uh, pause uh, race control? So, Doug, you, you have the ultimate home club advantage. Not only have you chosen where you get to race, uh, you've also set your own race course. Um, what's it looking like out there? I'm, I'm looking in the background behind you. I'm just not you, John. Um, Um, should, I, should I do you a little intro to some of our sailors? Okay, um, let's let's see some of the competitors. Um, okay. Looking okay, at the wind okay. behind, it looks less than five knots at the moment, so uh, we okay. need to leave people lots of time to get out to the race course if you're still going for that 10.30 start. Yeah. So, Davis, um, who's... Um, one of our superstars. In fact, uh, Chris was um, won a gold medal in uh, 1972. Isn't that right, uh, Chris? Um, sailing with Rodney Patterson. So you know, we know we've got some stiff comp competition. So here. I'm only 48 years older now. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely hard to beat. <laughs> yeah. and, and looking and very ready to go. He's looking yeah. much more ready to go than you, Doug. <laughs> yeah. So he's got complaint about the wind. Uh, wind. Um, we've got uh, Becky here. Good morning, Becky. Um, Becky's going to be sailing the class demo boat. Uh, so this is a first for her. Becky, normally sailor. Normally lays away. First time to sailor. Oh, you'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> good, good luck to you, Becky. Enjoy, enjoy your day. Uh, here, here I've got um, Chris's son, actually, Alex Davis. Hello. Um, uh, Alex, uh, I think I thing. think he's got the wrong top on. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. 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 crews have to do something at the weekends, don't they? When <laughs> sailing, <laughs> but, so, uh, Doug, you yeah. haven't trained them. <laughs> as well as being a tip-top solo sailor, Alex also sells a five hours. As, as I, I guess that bit, Doug. I um, guess that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he cruised for Ian Pennell, so he's, uh, you know, right up in the, in the world ranking. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, again, we've got some tough competition today. And, um, but when he's, when he's not sailing solo, he's also known to be on some of those large, lurking HMS uh, yeah, the, the aircraft carriers. The worst thing is, 
being a 5-0 crew and a solo sailor, and there being five knots of breeze out there at the moment, things aren't looking good. I must admit, I was thinking five knots. That sounds quite optimistic, but maybe the camera is lying. <laughs> I, think, I didn't see five. <laughs> There's a little bit of wind coming through. and it's Good, good, good. Cool. So, uh, th thanks, Alex. Good luck today. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, do you, do you, Ross, do you want to just... Hi. So, Ross. Uh, Hi, Ross. He's done some class photography for the solo class in the past, and um, he's our light specialist. So, you know, we've got money on. Uh, is that why he's smiling? He, he, he is smiling. It's exactly his condition. It's the conditions I love, where there's a little bit of rain, particularly telltales to the sail, and no wind. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say they love a little bit of rain, but there, but there you go. Is that just more making it hard for your opposition? <laughs> No, I think it's going to be hard for me. He's the, he's the boat whisperer. <laughs> Good luck. Don't tell Steve, Steve Cockle that. He'll get upset. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a real one. <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I do want to wish all the competitors all over the country an absolutely fantastic day. Um, we are going about 45 minutes, something like that. So I need to um, rig my boat. and I need Yeah, to no no problem, Doug. We're, we'll catch up with you later on the day. Yeah. We're going to be doing lots of live inputs. So Great. Um, I've asked Simon, because uh, I won't get a chance to speak to him again, to um, reproduce base one, two. I've said before, uh, we're in the place because I'm not quite sure which direction the wind's going to come from. So <laughs> one of the legs should be a beat. At, <laughs> at well, maybe they all will be. <laughs> well, <they'll> be. <laughs> but... Uh, that's absolutely fantastic and uh, best of luck to all the contestants everywhere have a fantastic day and um really enjoy it and uh, you know this is yet another demonstration of the strength of the solo class that we can pull together an event in such extraordinary times um and we're pleased that this that this event is also raising money for the nhs charities and for um for the rnli so um best of luck everyone see you uh, ish on the water virtually and you, you have a good day too, Doug. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. All your hard work. Do we have James available at all? We've got PRO of 25. You, you, you cut me out now, have you? Thank you. <laughs> so he can put his wetsuit on without being, uh, being filmed. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I do understand that a, club, a lot of clubs may be in this situation where they were intending a 10.30 start and nobody remembered to tell the winds. So um, that's the joys of sailing. Yeah, so if people are down south are waiting for the northerly, maybe they've got it in Scotland uh, at the moment. <laughs> mm. oh, a good a good sailor never never worries about the rain. Telltales uh, <laughs> be damned. Well, perhaps they'll get rid of the flying ants. I think they were they were trying to come into that area of the country, and that didn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> like, big cloud. <laughs> Uh, so the, the, the joys of this, we're obviously doing it live, so we're a bit victim to the, to the weather uh, and, uh, and anything else which goes on. I just had a little comment here. Um, they said that they can hear me OK uh, on the live, uh, but they can't hear you. I don't know if there's an issue with your, with your sound there at all. 
uh, this is this is unusual when the when the host is the one who's <laughs> who's not. So, so uh, if it sounds like I've been talking to myself, I haven't gone mad. Oh, there's Gareth. Yes, so I was going to bring Beautiful. in Gareth. Uh, I don't know why, but he looks like he will be a very good weather forecaster. That just reminds me of some of the the 1980s weather forecasts. Get two races underway. We've got six solos entered on the. Uh, is that coming through? And, um, so we can see, Gareth, uh, we can't see a lot of wind, actually. It even looks misty, but we can't hear him at the moment. So I, I'm trying with my lip reading. At least I hope I've got talking over him. I don't know, it looks like it's a knockout in the background. <laughs> it's something from the, from the 1980s. That looks lots of fun. Uh, I guess that's an outdoor pool. I think we're getting uh, six solos Gareth, entered on the uh, app. And, speak um, up, Gareth. Hopefully, a few more joining us for club racing as well. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Gareth Griffiths, rear commodore at Limpton Town Sailing Club. I'm still club. not actually hearing what he's saying. I'm afraid. Um, Nationals okay. event today. No uh, doubt he's uh, wishing uh, for, uh, <laughs> for a bit more wind. Beautiful. But apparently, but, uh, people message to nice say that uh, yeah, they can hear you, Simon, north, which is good, and they can hear Gareth. Yeah. So it's it's only and, uh, me. We're so I'll keep sure quiet. We'll get, uh, okay. get two races underway. We've got six solos entered on the. Uh, so I think Limington are due to be going about. Hopefully, a few more joining us for club racing as well. Thank you very much. Well, I do appreciate there'll be a tidal window for some people. Um, so I'm sorry if I talked to, over you, Gareth. I really couldn't hear anything my end. Okay, so this go. this live is a it's a new experience for me too. I think we've got a feel for that. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll be coming out during the day. So we're, we'll I guess, signing off shortly for this review at 9.30. And then, John, I think we were planning, what, one... Three and five. Yeah, and, and it may slip slightly late if obviously some of the clubs are having to slightly delay their, their racing because of the um, the wind. Uh, that's completely understandable. What we really want to do is have a have a chat with um, the sailors. Those live interviews are great. So, uh, yeah, hopefully <laughs> the first people will be in a position to uh, chat to us at one o'clock or maybe we'll be able to grab some on the water. Yeah. Well, the only thing I would say uh, for people, if it's possible for them to connect to a Wi-Fi, uh, for example, being suitably close to your um, clubhouse, that's a really uh, good idea just to make sure we have the best possible uh, signal. Um, that, that would really help things, uh, both for you and us. And then the second point, if you can wear some sort of uh, earphones, uh, then it will stop that feedback uh, loop because obviously we record at a slight delay. Um, so you do have some sort of earphones that will make it a little bit easier. So two top tips there. Right. OK, so um, I think that's probably enough for the re review of the events. We'll be back sort of later and racing due to start, I think, in about an hour's time. Hopefully, uh, Perfect. And hopefully we can speak to James at the, at the next slot. That would be really good if he's not pulling his hair out too much with, with 25 clubs <laughs> worth of uh, sailors. Good. OK. And uh, you can watch it sort of solo.soracer.org. And uh, over and out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Perfect. See you soon.